A revolutionary cancer treatment is now on offer in Britain. The cyber knife machine, worth more than a billion dollars, is being used to target tumours surgeons can't reach. But the treatment is not yet available in Australia. There's 38 tonnes of lead in the door and 300 tonnes more in the walls housing the cyber knife. But it's not the power of the machine's X-rays that's so revolutionary, it's their accuracy. Through a heavy-duty radiation gun, they're aimed to hit cancerous tumours anywhere in the body without damaging surrounding healthy tissue. These are often tumours which haven't spread around the body but are about to do damage by virtue of where they are. They're localised tumours but difficult for the surgeon to get at and difficult for orthodox radiotherapy to uh, obliterate. Alan Bowley was told two years ago he had three months to live. His wife found CyberKnife on the internet and after a course of treatments he was able to return to work. There's no cutting involved, there's no anaesthetic involved, it's purely lying on a table. This wonderful machine doing its business and I walked out the room and it, I said to Janet, I said I can't believe that that's done anything. But clearly after the three treatments I was already feeling the benefits, the pain was reducing, uh, my appetite was coming back straight away. So yeah, to say it's life changing is, is an understatement. The robotic radiotherapy system was developed in America. That's where Patrick Swayze has reportedly been treated with it as he battles pancreatic cancer. In the UK, there's just the one CyberKnife private clinic, but the National Health Service is now looking into the new technology because unlike surgery, it allows patients to go home after treatment, freeing up much-needed hospital beds. In London, Danielle Isdale, 10 News.